you wish to test the following claim at a significance level of alpha equals 0 0.10. Null hypothesis is that the mean is 80.9. Alternative hypothesis is that the mean is less than 80.9. You believe the population is normally distributed, but you do not know the standard deviation. You obtain a sample size, n equals 15, with a mean of 72.4 and a standard deviation of 7.8. So to perform this test, we're asked to find the test statistic and the p-value, compare the p-value to alpha, and lead to a decision and conclusion. So the first thing we're going to do do, we'll just think about what a hypothesis is test is asking us to do. Now we know not know the population standard deviation, so we cannot use z-procedures, we're using t-procedures on this one. And the null hypothesis is that the mean is 80.9. The actual data that we got from our sample had a sample mean of 72.4. We, to get the test statistic, the test statistic is going to be the standardized form of what we got. So in other words, if the mean were 0 and the standard deviation were 1, where would that uh, data that we got lie on that standard t-curve with the appropriate degrees of freedom? And the p-value tells us what's the probability that that or something more extreme would happen. So it's the area under the curve here in the tail that I have shaded in. To perform the hypothesis test, we'll go ahead and use the calculator. And under stat, under tests, the second choice, the t-test, because again, we're using um, t-procedures because we do not know the standard deviation of the population. The null hypothesis is that it is 80.9. The x-bar that we got was 72.4. The standard deviation that we got was 7.8. Our n was 15. And we are looking for less than. So we want to have less than mu sub 0. We'll go ahead and calculate that. And it will give us a t-value. It will give us a, a t for the test statistic, a p-value. Um, right here. And the t, the test statistic, is going to be, and we want to round that to how many decimal places? We want to round that to three decimal places. So that's negative 4.221. And our p value that we have here is. Notice that it's in scientific notation. And when it's in scientific notation, you're going to have to convert that. And we want it to four decimal places. That's 0 0.0004. So we found our test statistic and our p-value. Remember, the p-value is the probability that this would happen were the null hypothesis actually true. Our alpha, again, if you remember, our alpha was 0 0.10. So if we go back to the question, we found the test statistic, we found the p-value. The p-value is less than or equal to alpha. 0 0.0004 is significantly less than 0 0.10. And when we have a p-value that is less than our significance level, alpha, when we have that, we will reject the null hypothesis. In other words, it is so unlikely that that null hypothesis is true given the data that we obtained that we're going to reject that null in favor of the alternative. And as such, the final conclusion is what? Well, of all those choices, the only one that supports a claim in the alternative hypothesis instead of the null hypothesis is choice number three, that the sample data, right here, the sample data support the claim that the population mean is less than 80.9. We've rejected the null. We've done that in favor of the alternative, which is that the mean is less than 80.9.